Hey guys, I'm Leo Reinke, the Guitar Maniac. If you've been following my channel for a while, you probably know that the most viewed videos on my channel are the ones where I review the power supplies for your pedal boards. All of them from Harley Benton. And of course, I get a lot of requests, uh, what do you think about Fame power supplies? Well, you asked it, and so I finally ordered all of the Fame power supplies. So let's take a closer look at them. But first of all, I want to talk a little bit about background story. What is the Fame brand? About 10 years ago, when it came to purchasing music instruments or equipment, Music Store was my first choice. I guess back then it was the biggest either in Germany or even in Europe, and they are located in the downtown of Cologne, about 100 meters away from its famous uh, cathedral. So, you can't find a better location for this kind of business. A huge music shop in a huge city. And when I say huge, I really mean it huge. You know, like an average musician feels like a kid in a candy store when it comes to a music shop. But in a music store, you felt like you are a kid in a chocolate factory. And they offered a nice online service as well. For example, they offer three years of warranty, they offer 30 days of money back guarantee if you don't like the item, and they offer free shipping if you purchase at least on 25 euro. So why I changed to Toman? Basically I never had any bad experience with the music store, and Toman offers about the same service, but I guess Toman offered a better variety on the small items like uh, guitar strings, picks and uh, small accessories. And that's what I buy the most. And the second thing, music store ships with a UPS and Thomas ships with a DHL. Well, I never had any bad experience with both of those post services uh, like I had with a Hermes. But there were a couple of things uh, that I said I'll ship at Toman. When I'm not at home, I have to pick my package in the nearest uh, post office. But the only problem was about 10 years ago that the only post office of the UPS was uh, somewhere outside of my town. So. I had to spend about two hours uh, to carry this huge uh, package from the post office of the UPS and uh, the DHL has a little bit of more post offices in the, around the town. So basically this is the only reason why I switched to Toman. And nowadays uh, it's a little bit better because UPS works with uh, local bakeries, uh, newspaper shops, so you can actually find a lot of uh, smaller uh, post offices. So you can actually buy in music store or in Doman. So there is no such a big difference. Both of those uh, retailers are excellent. And of course, both uh, music store and Doman have their own brands. In case with Toman, it's either Harley Benton or T-Bone, and in case with Music Store, it's either Jack and Danny or Fame. But there are a couple of differences in approach of uh, the brands. For example, Harley Benton and T-Bone is mostly oriented on beginner musicians or musicians with a low budget. Well, but you get pretty decent quality for the price. Of course, you can't expect a guitar for 200 euro be as good as guitar for 3000 euro, but you can't complain for the price. And some of the Harley Benton stuff uh, can be used by professional musicians as well. For example, the storm boxes, uh, the guitar or bass cabinets, and in my case, it was Harley Benton Power Blend ISO 2 Pro, the power supply. Well, as for the music store brands, Jack and Danny is sort of Harley Benton of the music store. It's mostly oriented on the beginner musicians. As for the fame, well, 
they make uh, high-end stuff like uh, guitars or basses. I really like the Fame Forum guitars. It's a nice Paul Reed Smith copy or Fame Baphomet series. Unfortunately, they stopped selling those. Uh, but guys, seriously, bring back Baphomet basses back. Those were really great. And uh, they have uh, low budget uh, stuff as well, mostly storm boxes or microphones, or in this case, uh, the power supplies as well. But let's be honest, there are no such brands as Harley Benton, T Bone, uh, Jack and Danny, or Fame. All this stuff is made by third party companies and sold under a retailer's brand. For example, some of the Harley Benton storm boxes are nothing but a Joyo storm boxes. And uh, uh, the famous uh, Fame Bulldozer Tube M is made by Russian brand Yarasov. And in some cases, both uh, uh, Toman and Music Store stuff look so identical that you assume that it comes from the same factory and is sold under its own brand name. And that's what happened to me when I first ordered the Harley Benton power plant, uh, the original blue one. I knew that Music Store has its uh, DST 200 power supply, and I naturally assumed that those are pretty much identical, but apparently this is not the case. So let's take a closer look at it. The Fame DTC 200 can work with both 230 and 115 volts, so basically you can use it worldwide. It has two 12 volt outputs, one is AC and another one is DC. As for the rest 8 outputs, well, each of these outputs is switchable. You can choose between 9 and 12 volt DCs uh, on the outputs 1 uh, to 6, and uh, the switches are on the bottom of the device. As for the outputs 7 and 8, well, they have two adjustable knobs. And basically, with the switches on the bottom, you can choose between 9 volt, and uh, you can switch these knobs on. So, you can set uh, anything between 4 and 9 volt. Well, this uh, doesn't make any sense unless uh, some of the guitar players find uh, the sound of the storm boxes better when the battery is running out of power. And this kind of allows to emulate uh, this sort of uh, running out of power battery. The main problem that I've got with the Harley Benton power plant is uh, that it was nothing but a daisy chain in a box. So, let's test the Fame DTC 200, if it's uh, the same case or if it's uh, built properly. First of all, let's test it with a multimeter. And as you can see, all the central pins uh, that are negative are not connected to each other. And that's a good sign. So, let's take it apart and look how it's built. And as you can see, this power supply is built pretty similar to the Harley Benton Power Plant Junior. This transformer has multiple secondary windings and each of them has its own rectifier and positive voltage regulator. And that's why all the outputs are isolated from each other. So, let's put it together and uh, put it to some test. For the noise test, I use as always the torpedo cap from two nodes because it can't stand daisy chains. And the AMT R1 because it can work with both 9 and 12 volt DC. You can hear a lot of low frequency hum, but this is not because uh, Fame DTC 200 uh, has some flaws in it, but because torpedo cap requires uh, 300 mA at least, and uh, DTC 200 can give uh, 250 in the best case. But if you test it with different devices, you can hear no hum at all. And in conclusion, this is how original Harley Benton power plant should be built. Because the Harley Benton power plant junior is built uh, the same way as this device and not as uh, the original power plant. Well, can I recommend it? Well, there are good and bad sides about it. A good side 
is that it's only 40 euro, the same price as the Harley Benton power plant, but it's isolated. That's another good thing about it. It can work with both 115 and 230 volts, so you can use it worldwide, and this is a uh, plus side as well. You can choose uh, all kind of uh, currency you like, so this is good thing as well. Well, the negative sides are... Well, this one is pretty heavy, so if your pedal board is not uh, quite uh, the lightest, uh, so you can use uh, this device. And uh, another thing, it can't power my uh, torpedo cap, so I couldn't use it anyway. But if you don't have this power hundred storm boxes, you can definitely buy this one. So, that's all for today, have a nice day and keep on rocking!